I turn on my computer. I go online. Welcome. Welcome. And my breath catches in my chest until I hear three little words. You've got, got mail. mail. And you can use your cellular phone to order me a pizza. Yes. So what's the sitch? Hello. Even text messaging, I think, has just like changed everything. Raise your hands. How many of you know how to text? Hey, it was great meeting you. We should get together sometime. Yeah, they'd be great. Be in touch. All right, cool. Bye. Hey, what's up? Should we grab a drink tonight? Yeah, yeah. I'm with some friends in this neighborhood. Oh, cool. We'll be down there soon. Can't wait to see you. All right, cool. Bye. We are calling it iPhone. This is about as close as America gets to having a royal baby, Apple unveiling new iPhone. But the Jetsons didn't have a smartphone. Can you see that? Are you getting it? There are 307 million Americans, and 270 million of us have cell phones, spending an average of 12 and a half hours on them each month. I can't sleep without the phone buzzing, vibrating, beeping. You're People are so attached to these things. Me, myself, I have three cell phones. At what age did you get your first cell phone? I was 13 when I got my first cell phone. I was 14 in high school. Uh, when I got my first cell phone, I was in fifth grade. So I, I, whatever age you are in fifth grade, that's where I got my first cell phone. I was about 16 or 17. 14. The average person gets their first cell phone at age 12, but 13% of children ages 6 to 10 already have one. Research suggests that we are so dependent on our phones that we check them every six and a half minutes. Looking at their phone is the first thing most people do every day. It's also the last. I, I use my BB messenger, that's, that's what I do. But I gotta be with my, my headphones, my, my cell phone, my BB messenger, Facebook, Twitter, everything. Yeah, I feel the need to use it when I'm working, which is mostly 24 seven now. So therefore, I really don't wanna put it away. So it's basically the mentality is, we're always online unless we say we're offline. We've never uh, been able to be as close uh, with, with all these people everywhere in our lives on different continents before as we have now. And that's very exciting. With video calls like Skype and FaceTime, you can be miles apart but still together. With this technology, you no longer have to choose between face-to-face -face and phone communication, revolutionizing the way technology affects our relationships. When you are uh, connected to thousands of people, um, uh, it's, it's hard to find time for the people that you really want to connect with. I mean, we've never been in the history of mankind connected with so many people. We've uh, never been asked to focus 
on so many different things until this time, right now. Like, take your most basic problem as a single person, right? Uh, you like someone, they don't like you back. Or the reverse, someone likes you, you don't like them back. At one point, that used to be kind of an awkward situation. You have to have a conversation, it's weird, you know? Now what do you do? Someone likes you, you don't like them back? You just pretend to be busy forever. <laughs> Why risk hurting someone's feelings when you can create an alternate reality where scheduling is the problem? Asking questions that I think everyone is asking every day. How much time do you spend on the internet or how much time do you spend on your phone? How much time do you spend connected with those hundred people as opposed to those hundred people? You know? Of the one billion smartphones in the world, 91 million are in the United States. There are five billion mobile phones worldwide belonging to 80% of the world's population. Worldwide, the average person spends 16 hours on the internet each month. The average American spends 32 hours. Who do you really give your time and your attention to? Uh, these are decisions we have to make now every day, whereas, you know, 10, 20 years ago, we didn't have to make those decisions, you know? We just sort of hung out with whoever was in front of us.